Hey guys, what is going on? We are back today with some more Destiny 2 news. Now, Destiny 2 comes out a week from today, which means the news is pouring in right now. So before we get started, remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Also, turn on the bell to join the notification squad and get notified when I go live and upload a video so you never miss anything. So with that being said, let's get into some of this new info. So guys, the first thing we have to talk about is this tweet from Mark Noseworthy. It reads, in Destiny 2, it's no longer advantageous to equip your most powerful gear when decrypting Ingrams. We check for your best possible loadout now. So this is music to Destiny 1 players' ears. What this means is that you no longer have to manually equip, equip your best light level gear. Now the game will automatically detect it when decrypting Ingrams. Before in Destiny 1, if you did not have your highest light level gear on, it would drop at your current light level. So that is no more. So next up is that Devil Walkers and Scorch Cannons are back in Destiny 2. Now instead of Devil Walkers, they're called Arsenal Walkers. So as you can see in this public event, you have to damage the legs of the Arsenal Walker and you get these orbs. Now what you can do with these orbs is you can slot them into these generators. And once you put enough orbs into a generator, it unlocks a Scorch Cannon. So then you could do more damage to the Arsenal Walker in the public event. Now I personally liked facing Devil Walkers and using Scorch Cannons, so I'm really glad to see this back in Destiny 2. Now the next thing we have to talk about is scannable objects. Now Bungie said that in Destiny 2, scanning objects will help you learn more about the story, um, answer questions like why the Vex terraforming that, like stuff like how did I get here. So yeah, scanning objects in Destiny is actually going to have a use, so put that ghost to work. So next thing is that they added a fast travel feature to Destiny 2. Now you can click on this triangular icon and you can fast travel anywhere around the map. This does not remove you from your fire team or take your fire team with you. So that means that you and your fire team can split up and do various tasks separately. So the next thing we have to talk about is the exotic rocket launcher, the Dubious Volley. Although the name has been changed to the Wardiff Coil. Now uh, this 50 second clip from IGN shows the power of this weapon. Now this gun has a very long history in Destiny 1. Now let me explain that. We saw in the data mines that this gun was in Destiny 1, but we never got to use it. It never even showed up. Um, it was rumored to be the raid exotic from the Taken King raid, but it never happened. So now we finally get our hands on this amazing, amazing rocket launcher, and I cannot wait to use it. So guys, the next thing we have to talk about is this Leviathan screenshot. Now, this was taken from the PC beta, and if you guys didn't know, the Leviathan is where the new raid's going to be. So as you can see on the top, it shows the light that was in the concept art, and it looks just like the concept art. So now, I cannot wait to fly in here and to see what lies ahead of us. Now, the next thing we have to talk about is this live stream that was held by Luke Smith, who is from Bungie. Now, uh, he had a 20-minute interview on a live stream where people asked him questions on Twitter. Now, he brought up some very interesting things. One of the things that he brought up is weapon mods will let you change damage type on legendaries, but not on exotics. So this means if the Nightfall is solar and you have arc on your weapon, you can use a solar mod to switch the archetype to solar. And you can do that on every legendary except exotics. Now, also, if you take down a shield, say a solar shield, with a solar archetype weapon, it blows up the shield and it does double the damage and does an area of splash damage to the enemy and the enemies nearby. And it goes for arc and void. So say if there's a captain with an arc shield, you shoot it with an arc weapon, it blows up and does double damage, which sounds very interesting. Now the last thing we have to talk about today is this new leak of a possible Vex DLC. Now I cannot show you the cinematic because I would get copyrighted and my channel gets shut down. But anyways, let's get into it. Now, there was a cinematic video of Vex rising from some liquid, heading upward, up on a spire, it almost looked like. So the question that everyone is asking is, is this a leak of a possible Vex DLC? Well, I have an answer to that. I believe that it is. And the question is, would I like to see a Vex DLC? Well, I have two answers to that. I have a yes and a no. No, because we saw a lot of Vex in Destiny. Um, there was Vex everywhere. It just seemed like the Vex were 
part of everything. And yes, I also would because I'd like to see what Bungie could do with a Vex DLC in Destiny 2. Um, it, fighting Atheon was a blast. That's probably my favorite raid. And I'd like to fight someone like him in a new raid. And I think it'd be awesome. And if you're not already hyped for Destiny 2, maybe this hype montage will get you in the mood. the crucible to dominate if we wait we die September 6th. So guys, with that being said, that's going to be all for today's news update video. If you have not already, please subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Also, remember to turn on the bell to join the notification squad and get notified when I go live and upload a video so you never miss anything. And with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.